Hey, welcome back everyone. Today we're going to see how to do our reload animation plus how to take bullets from our max ammo and put back this ammo to our current clip and at the same time it's going to remove uh, the amount of ammo that we have. So if we use 30 bullets in our clip, we're going to reload from 300. So we're going to go at 270 bullets in our total ammo because those bullets would be now in our magazine. So we're going to see how to do that. So we're going to start uh, by creating a reload function here. So just create on function, create a reload function. So the function here is already created for you. So you can just pause the video and copy this. But basically what it's doing is that code here is going to figure out uh, the amount of ammo that we currently have in our clip, right? And this code here will figure out uh, how much we are actually put in our clip so why we do all this is because if we reload at 25 bullets in our clip we just only need five we want to only take five from our total ammo we don't want to take 30 right so it's why we do this code here so you can copy this code put it exactly the way it is and it's going to work fine for you just to save a little bit of time i already did that code here it's not too complicated so you're going to need to probably create a temp here, uh, a temp ammo and a variable, and you'll be all good. So when that is completed, we can go back to uh, the event graph and start with a code here for reloading. So the first thing that we're going to need here, well, we're going to need a branch. So let's do a branch here. Connect this to that branch, and we need a condition. So we're going to search for less. And we're going to less or equal, we're going to take this. Actually, it's not the good one. So we're going to go down there. And I believe it, it's equal. Actually, it's equal, not I believe. It's equal. And it's going to be the not equal here. Right? And we're going to take our total ammo. So go down to our weapon here. Take our total ammo. And plug it to it. We're going to do another branch. And we're going to connect this branch to this one. And now we need another condition. And this one will be less or equal. We're going to take this. And we're going to take our current clip and connect this to it. I'm just going to do a little comment here. So select everything. Press C on your keyboard to do a little comment. That comment will be can only reload if your ammo clip is lower lower than this number i don't know if it makes sense for you guys basically we're going to put 29 here right so we can only reload if we have 29 bullets or bolo in our current clip otherwise we won't be able to reload so we can go there do another branch and we're going to connect our branch to um to false here so just connect that to false and we're going to make sure that actually not to false to um true and we're going to take our sprint which is right there and i don't want to make sure that i can't reload if i'm sprinting if you want to reload when you're sprinting well, you can just remove that up. I'm going to drag from false here. And I'm going to search for do once. So we're only going to do this once. So from that, we're going to take our is reloading. Which is here. Plug it here. And we're going to check is reloading. We're going to move a little bit. And we're going to play a sound. Because I want to play a sound when I'm reloading. Right? I'm going to play... A sound at location at location where well the actor location so I'm gonna search for actor location and which sound I want to play well I'm gonna search for reload I'm gonna go all the way down for the rifle reload and we're gonna take rifle reload Q from that we're gonna play anim montage so we're gonna search for this Take this one 
now we have to take our anim montage so the reload anim montage is right there so to get an anim montage what you have to do go back to your animations go to your reload right click on it and create anim montage and now you will be able to play that uh, directly from your event graph uh, otherwise you have to go to your animation and i don't know if you remember but you will have to do you know a state here to do a reload animation i don't want to do that so by having this code here uh let me go back to show you which code i'm talking about so by having that that we set up earlier well our reload animation will play from this cache and our walking animation will play from this cache so we're all good with that so we're gonna go back here make sure you select your rifle animation click on this and we're gonna put a delay here so we're just gonna create a delay and the delay is gonna be the duration of our animation so 2.27 I already calculated that for you guys and here we're gonna call our reload function that we created so instead of having all the code here for reloading well I put that in a function so if I have any other blueprint that need to use that so it's easier that way by using a function than just putting all your variable right there it's the way you want it just for this um, using a function usually I'm just using a variable everywhere but for this one I think it's just a little bit more convenient um, after that I'm gonna take my is reloading plug it right there and make sure it's unchecked now I'm gonna go back to do once and plug this to the reset so I'm gonna explain what it does hopefully uh, it's clear enough so when we press R it's gonna verify that our ammo we have enough ammo to reload if we do it's gonna go here it's gonna check that we have at least 29 or below ammo to reload if we do it's gonna check after that are you sprinting if we're not sprinting it's mean it's false so we're gonna go here do once so it's gonna go there it's gonna set our reloading and it's gonna play a sound for us at the location of our actor which is our blueprint it's gonna play the animation montage that we created it's gonna wait the duration of this animation it's gonna call the function reload which will fire off this code here for us it will figure out that the amount of ammo that we have in our clip and how much we actually need to put in our clip when this has been completed it's going to set up reloading so set the is reloading to false and it's going to go all the way back to reset and wait for the next time we press on reload to do this once again so um there is nothing else for that for the reloading so we completed the reloading uh, animation plus the function plus the code to reload so I'll catch you on the next video how to uh, start firing with our weapon. See ya. Actually, I can just show you quick what it's doing here. So if you want to try the animation here uh, to reload, it's not going to work because we won't be able to fire. So we have to unconnect this. So just unplug this, do play. And now if you reload, you can see the animation is playing for us. So we can walk and reload at the same time. Uh, if you plug this back up now you won't be able to reload so if you try you can hear my smashing on my keyboard and it's doing absolutely nothing for us so you can see that the code is working so on this I uh, will catch you on the next one see ya